Hey sweeties, how are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sin. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, sweetheart, kindly smile the subscribe button, turn on the notifications so you get notified each time I upload. And please give this video a thumb up. I appreciate you so much and I want to say a very big thank you to every one of you for always coming back to watch my videos. Yo, you all are awesome. So today, today's video is all about a white man discouraging a black American man from moving back home, moving back to Africa. And I want to say that uh, of all things, like, you know, the white man got to say about Tanzania, Tanzania is actually a very beautiful place. Like it's some people's dream place to visit, like especially, especially me, I definitely would like to visit Tanzania anytime soon. There are so many beautiful things happening there. So of all the beautiful things like, you know, happening there, I mean, he decided to like, you know, come with negativity and all of that which did not go away like a lot of people actually came for him you know what let's get into this video stay good to your screen here we go y'all come look at this real quick i'm moving my family to tanzania a lot so crime is a serious problem in Tanzania. Uh, street crime in Dar es Salaam is common and includes mugging, bag snatching, vehicle theft, smash and grab attacks on vehicles, armed robbery, burglary. So white supremacy is a whole trip. It is a whole trip. I made this video just showing my enthusiasm for moving abroad to Tanzania and we are here. Got to give you all this little preview. It's it's just a little preview, a little preview. It's paradise. But meanwhile, this uh, random guy sees my video where I show enthusiasm for coming to Africa and show some of the differences about being here versus USA. And he can't help but just go on this rant, this very racist rant, uh, characterizing Africa and Tanzania as just this dangerous, violent, horrible place. Uh, and what's interesting is there are no sources given, and what's more is that the comments are turned off, so there's not even a chance to respond or reply or engage with the content, so I just block the person. General tip, be very careful who you listen to when it comes to people of color or black people or nations or whatever the case is, and pay attention to who the source is of this information. I was here for five weeks before and I've met many Americans who are here and have been here for months and years and they're having a wonderful amazing time. It's an interesting tactic of white supremacy to use fear or characterizing as if crime only happens here as if none of the things listed happen in the USA as well as a means of I don't know, I guess telling me that I shouldn't be here, that it's not beautiful and amazing as a black descendant of slaves to be back in the motherland. I don't know what this person's intention was, but I just want to encourage y'all to always be mindful of the source. Black people, please, please travel if you're able to. Please come to Africa if you're able to. It is beautiful. It is amazing, y'all. We're having a great time so far. So of all the good things like you know, going on in... Um in Tanzania, I mean, he saw only uh, like, you know, theft and all that. I mean, this is the kind of crime that is going on everywhere. I mean, every places. And uh, coming online to say something like this, I think it's really very horrible. Like, you know, sometimes I kind of like, you know, ask myself, like, what happened to people's conscious and all that? So he is trying to discourage people or discourage actually this man from traveling. You know, it's kind of amazing, like how they kind of tell you that, yo, this place is the only place safe, which is actually not safe. Yeah, because they always tell me that United States is always safe. No, it is not, bro. I am sorry. Stop like, you know, thinking that bad, bad things only happen in Africa and all that. And it's quite unfortunate that like, you know, they always come out to like give you that bad narration, like, you know. And I see some other videos also, uh, like, you know, people trying to, when people travel to other places, like, I see some people come to Lagos, Nigeria, and, like, some content creators. Like, Lagos is a very beautiful place, a very busy place. They have beautiful places to visit and all that. They will never focus on the beautiful places in Lagos, Nigeria. Do you know where they will focus? They will focus on the slum. Yeah, the slum because they feel yo we have to sell we have to put the bad things going on in the media 
So people will think, oh, yeah, that, this is what is going on in general everywhere in Africa. I am so sorry, like some people don't even give you guys the real thing going on. You really do need to travel. Oh, yeah. I keep saying it, travel. Don't only live in one place for the rest of your life. We call travel if you are able to do that and see for yourself. And also, like you said, mind the kind of like the source of our information you are consuming because like, you know, the kind of information you consume determines your thinking and all of that. Because some people are actually going to say this. I'm like, oh, yo, yeah, that's true. He's right. No, he is not right. He is not. All right, let's get into the stitches and see what people got to tell us about this. Yeah. Watch that video in its entirety already. Please go watch it and then come back. Hi, my name is Tony. I'm a travel strategist and an international event coordinator. And seven years ago, I decided to sell all of my belongings to travel. And I can't tell you how angry that video made me. Not only did he crap all over somebody's really good news, but he gave a lot of information without backing it up with any facts. So let's get into it. Over the past few years, a lot of African Americans have decided to leave the United States. And the main reason why I decided to leave the United States was because as a black woman, I no longer felt safe. And after living and working in 15 countries throughout the Caribbean and Central America, I can honestly say that I feel safer there than I do in the United States. Now, just like the man that created the original Stitch, a lot of people in the Western world will have you believe that Africa is some sort of hellscape. When in fact, Tanzania is probably one of the most beautiful places in the entire world. For me, it's been number one on my bucket list for a long time, and you can probably imagine why. But is Tanzania a safe country? Well, according to the 2019 Global Peace Index, Tanzania is the seventh safest country in Africa. And in 2021, it ranked 58 in safety throughout the entire world. And that's in stark contrast to the United States, which in 2021 came in at 129. Tanzania is also home to Mount Kilimanjaro, which is the largest freestanding mountain in the entire world. Off its coast is Zanzibar, which is another breathtakingly beautiful location. But beauty and statistics aside, your travel experience as a black person is going to be completely different than that of somebody who's white. Some of the things that this man said in his stitch were completely off the mark. As a seasoned traveler, I can tell you that, yes, there is racism everywhere. But having lived in predominantly black nations, I can tell you honestly, it's been at a minimum. As a travel strategist, I spend a lot of time dispelling myths, stereotypes, and just plain misinformation. And 90% of the time, most of this information is coming from people with absolutely no lived experience. And how this man could have the gall to try to speak to the black experience in Africa is absolutely beyond me. So congratulations, Tony. I am so happy for you and your family because I have been dying to go to Tanzania for years. And my number one piece of advice to anyone who's considering traveling abroad is to to not take travel advice from just anyone. If you rely on advice from people like that, you'll never leave your hometown. I hope this was helpful and it gave you some direction. Moving my family to Tanzania. A lot so crime is a serious problem in Tanzania. I know the internet is about to show that man the error of his ways. But for you and your family in Tanzania, I wish you all the best. It looks gorgeous. You look thrilled. I hope that this is everything you wanted it to be, and even more. I hope it delights you in ways you didn't even imagine, and I hope that the internet teaches that guy a lesson, because it's none of his business what you do with your life. It's none of mine either, but I sure as hell wish you well. It looks gorgeous. Best wishes. Oh, come look at this real quick. I'm moving my family to Tanzania. A lot of so crime is I know it's been a minute, but I'm not recommending a book for this one, although you should go ahead and watch that entire video because he ain't never lied. He ain't never lied. Everything he says in that video is right and you should go watch it. I lived abroad for 15 years. I've been back in America for about one. And when I tell you the number of 
<clears throat> people coming up out of nowhere, out of the woodwork, to inform me of how terrible my life must have been abroad and how dangerous everything is. And, oh my goodness, aren't you glad to be back in America where things are so safe and everybody is so secure and friendly and kind and polite. And, oh, the racism, wasn't the racism horrible? Everybody hates black people. And the problem is these people never seem to realize that talking to them is usually a much less safe and much more racist experience than anything I've experienced abroad in any continent. America, man. Africa and Tanzania as just this dangerous, violent, horrible place. And that is the reason why we do not use the term third world country. It's problematic. It is racist. And, and it has a, a ring of American exceptionalism to it, as if we don't have some of the highest crime per capita than some of these same countries. It's just white supremacy has so many of us deluded, including some black people. I'm not going to name any names, but you know who you are doubling down on using the term third world country and trying to make it gaslighting Africans who get mad at you for using it. That's what colonizers do. And I need you to stop it because it's not a good look. That's some colonizer ass behavior. Strike third world country from your vocabulary. Name the specific country you're talking about. That's all you got to do when discussing things. Because third world country is rooted in racism. And that's all. It's rooted in white supremacy, delusion, and racism, period. Okay? And classism, actually, too. All right. This is where I am going to drop cutting. I, I want to say something actually before I go. I am going to say that if you have not, if you are planning to go to Tanzania, Tanzania is a very beautiful place. It's actually, like I said before, it's my dream to visit there, and it's it's definitely gonna happen. Yeah, I travel a lot, a lot to travel, and Tanzania. I am coming real soon. So if there is anyone that really do want to visit Tanzania, please go ahead. Do not mind this man. All right, it's a very beautiful place. You are gonna enjoy it. Okay, so uh, thank you all for all your support and see you all in my next video. Bye.